Okay, so today we're gonna make a bit of different content. Just to read out, I'm making it just because I'm bored. It's called The Wizard of Oz. Probably most of you have probably seen it. So yeah, let's get into it. Probably seen the movie or the book. Okay, one second, sorry, I'm bad at holding cameras. <laughs> Alright, let's turn to the next page. Eek. 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 Alright. Eek. It's kind of hard holding a camera while you're in the pace. Hold on, I can do this. But, one of the wizard of eyes. Alright. Okay. One song of Grey Kansas, uh, Par... Par... I decided to watch. A girl called Dorothy lived with her Uncle Henry, who was a farmer, um, Aunt Em, who was his wife, and a little dog called Toto. All around the farmhouse where they lived, as far as the eye could see, was a flat, dry, sun-baked earth. One day, fierce wind came. One day, a fierce wind came swirling from the north. A tornado cried Uncle Henry, running running to get the cows in from the field. Dorothy grabbed Toto and dashed inside. The little house shook and the terrible one lifted it up as it was light as a feather. There's a picture and let's move on. Okay. The wind wailed and the house swayed. A hour after hour passed and Dorothy grew so tired that she and fell asleep. Uh, then suddenly, the house landed with a thud. Jumping up, Dorothy flung open the door. Outside was, was in a dry pear. Pear, yeah, whatever you call it. But a beautiful land of tall, colorful trees, sparkling streams, and pretty flowers. It's a picture. All right. Um... Out of the trees came a group of people who were the size of children but looked like grown-ups. Welcome to the land of M Munchkins, said, said a lady with a kind face. I am the Witch of the North. You have saved us from the Witch of from the Wicked we Witch of the East. Here's your picture and let's move on. Whee. Dorothy ha house has fallen on a witch. All that that remained was a pair of silver shoes. Oh dear! cried Dorothy. I want to go, go. I want to. I want to go home to Kansas. The Wizard of Oz will help you," said the witch of the North. Wear these shoes and follow the yellow brick road to Emerald City. There you will find the wizard. Uh, Dorothy put on the silver shoes and started her journey. Come along, Toto, she said. They had not gone far when they came upon a scarecrow. A, a scarecrow in a field of golden corn. Good day, said the scarecrow. Where are you going? To the great, to see the great wizard of Oz, replied Dorothy. Can you give me a brain? A scarecrow, for he had a head full of straw. I'm sure he would, replied Dorothy. And they set off together. All right, let's go to the next page. Here are the pictures. And let's go on. This oil will do the... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, am I... Oh, soon they came to a forest where they found a man made of tin. He was so rusty he could not move. Uh, th this oil will do the trick, said Dorothy, pouring it on the tin man's joint. He told him all about the, the journey to Oz. I want to come too, he said. I want the wizard to give me a heart. So Dorothy and the scarecrow, the tin man, set off in the forest. Here is the picture. Here's the oil thingy. Here's cute Toto. Anyway. No burp, no burp. Right, okay, let's go. Suddenly, there was a roar. A lion bounded out of the trees. Toto barked, and the lion opened his mouth as if to bite him. Don't you dare bite poor little Toto, she cried. S cried Dorothy, slapping the lion 
on his nose. You're just a big coward. Um, the lion hung his head in shame. I know I am, he said. I guess I was just born this way. I wish I had courage. The Wizard of Oz will give you courage, said Dorothy, who felt sorry for the cowardly lion. You can come with us. The little group walked for a very long time. At last, they came. It, at last, they came to a meadow full of poppies. Almost at once, Dorothy and lion, Dorothy and the lion fell asleep, for the scent of flowers were poisonous. We must move them, or they will die," said the, said the Tin Man. But the lion is too heavy. Now we shall never get to Oz," he said. "How is Toto, Toto not asleep? He's a living thing too." Anyway, just then, by chance, the queen, the queen. A field of mice came by. She ordered her mice subjects to to carry the lion, while the ma- tin man carried Dorothy. Soon, Dorothy and the lion were awake again. Thank you, Your Majesty. They said, "Here's the picture." Now let's move on. Okay, the friends traveled on uh, uh, on and uh, oh. And at last, they came to the gates of dazzling Emerald City. Everything was green. Uh, the house were green. The, even the people too. They were green candy, popcorn, as well as green shoes, green hats, and green clothes of all sorts. The, these visitors, these visitors wished to see the Oz, the Great and Terrible. Announced the guardian. Wait, the guardian. Uh, Of the gates led them through the streets until they came to a big building, exactly in the middle of the city, and it was a place of the Great Wizard. These visitors wished to see the Oz, the Great and Terrible, and that's the Guardian. Oh, and here's the picture. And let's move on, guys. I think I'm gonna make a part two on this. See,、so, yeah. but let's move on. And I'll tell you in the part, but we're gonna make it to part two. Inside the palace, Dorothy was taken to a throne room, but all she found there was a giant stone head. I am the Oz, the Great and Terrible. Uh, he bo- boomed the head. Who are you? Why do you seek me? I grant. Oh, wait. I'm Dorothy, and I want to go back to Kansas. The Scarecrow wants the brain. The Tin Man wants a heart, and the Lion wants. And the lion wants courage," she said. Incidentally, I shall grant all of those these wishes if you kill the wicked witch from the west," she said. The voice. Dorothy did not want to kill the witch, but she knew she must. She knew that she must. Okay, guys, I have to end it here. So yeah, see you in part two. Bye, everyone.